Yo, 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 Pete, this podcast episode 8. My name is Blenka Kafuilo. And I'm Chanda Sampa, but you can call me Shizo. And we're happy to be back, guys. Uh, thank you for um, all the listens. I was pleasantly surprised when I checked the analytics the other day. Mm-hmm. I remember sending uh, Mr. Shizo a screenshot and I was like, ah, people are actually mm-hmm. listening. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I guess we have something to say. Yeah. That people are interested in. So thank you for your continued support. Follow us on all our pages. Yes, uh, pick this pod on Instagram. Pick this pod on Twitter. Or follow us on your favorite streaming platforms, wherever you listen to this forum. Yep. But uh, besides that, uh, welcome to episode eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are you, sir? I'm good, man. I'm, it's it's hot. It's hot as a motherfucker. Ish. It's hot. for you, bro. Yeah, man. But, but uh, would you rather have this or the cold? Ah, the cold. I feel like with the cold, bro, you can kind of control it. Like you just put on something warm, or you know, like you put a blanket over yourself. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but like with the heat, if you don't have a fan, yeah, done. Yeah, you're done for. You're okay, done for. okay. But besides that, how are you? How are things going? Ah, uh, can't complain, man. God is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, yourself? Mm, that's the new one. God is good. God is good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that, that means that uh, I'm, I'm going through trying times, but I'm surviving. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm well as well. I'm healthy mm. and fairly happy. So I think those, those are the two things that matter. So here we are. Yeah. It's on eight. Fish. Guys, yeah, okay, just at least the consistency is back. You know, that's <laughs> <laughs> only three episodes, but you know, it's back. Yeah, yeah um, we're proud of ourselves. OVO, uh, the long awaited for all the dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Drake uh, dropped um, an album on the 6th of October. Uh, 23 songs, 1 hour, 24 minutes. At 6 a.m. as well. At, at 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Weird, weird, but okay. I think he was just flexing his muscles. Like showing I can drop whatever time I want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I told you this, yeah. but I'll do it another time. Because like, you have to wait. Yeah, because I feel like the only artist who... Oh, well, there are some, but uh, mainly I see it from Beyonce. Yeah. She just drops like... She, she won't even tell anyone. There's no rollout. She just boom. Yeah. Just give you an album. True, true, true. Yeah. She's definitely at that level, if not close. Close. Okay, okay. Uh, what did you think of the album? Did you listen to it? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, ish. I don't know how I should start. <laughs> Refresh the question. <laughs> okay. Did the album meet your expectation? Um, okay. The listeners might not know this, but mm-hmm. you know this. Yes. Um, I'm not the biggest Drake fan, mm-hmm. so I didn't have any expectations. Okay. If maybe a Jaco album dropped, I was going to rush and dissect everything. Yeah. But just as a hip hop fan, because um, I know how much Drake means to the culture, yeah. and how much of an important artist he is. And for the sake of fifties podcast, mm-hmm. I obviously had to listen. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah. the way I listen to music, I'm, I'm a music head. Yeah, and a hip hop head to be specific. We listen to everything, don't we? Yeah, oh, this yeah, came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at it from that lens. I'm not looking at it as a star. Like, okay, oh my okay. god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's not better than. Uh, we'll get to that later, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so you saying that first of all, before you even give your review, yes. Do you think uh, Drake is top three hip hop right now? Um, right now. Yeah, right now. This second as well. No, I, I mean, uh, okay. This this generation. They, okay, they normally put Kendrick, Cole, and Drake as yes. a top three of this generation that we came up. You know, let me listen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, do you think he deserves to be in that top three? Do you think he is in that top three? Yeah, it's undeniable. He's undeniable. top three. Yeah. Because okay. if you remember, it used to be like a top five or six. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then, as the world, the years went by, mm-hmm. it was getting cut down. Mm-hmm. If you remember, it was Cole Kendrick, Drake. Yeah. Then Big Sean, Wale, and Meek were also in, yeah, the, they were, they were in the conversation. Yeah, they were in the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. it just remained the, the, the big the top three. three. Yeah. yeah. I think Cole even uh, referenced it on first person shoot. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did, yeah, he did, yeah. He did. They call big three. Yeah. So yeah, he is top three. Okay. Uh, you can uh, let us know <laughs> what you what you thought of the album. Okay. Um. Yeah. So for all the for all the dogs, mm-hmm. 
first of all if you're a music nerd and you go like on youtube and check in these reviews yeah the the acronym or the initials is mm-hmm. like fat d <laughs> whoa I, I didn't catch that <laughs> yeah that's what i was like drag drops fat d. whoa yeah, it was like hashtag fat d yeah oh my god yeah so uh, that's anyway um <laughs> that's us <laughs> yeah it, it's highly anticipated yeah. because as we know um Drake put out Certified Lover Boy that yeah. came out with mixed reviews. Mm-hmm. Then he came with uh, the dance album and the one with 21. So people yeah. wanted, him, wanted to see him stand on his own again. Yes. So there was a lot of anticipation. But personally, me, I like three songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's um, the, the 8... 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. in yeah. Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. First person shooter with J. Cole. Of course, of course. And, um... Yeah, that's 8, 8 a.m. in Charlotte. And, and Away From Home. Away From Home. Yeah. Okay. So those are the tracks that I like. What did I like about them? Obviously, first person shooter, uh, Drake hasn't worked with Cole in a while. Yeah. Yeah. So I was looking forward to see, because as a rapper, when you used to rap, yeah. first of all, yeah. Um, did you have the intention of I'm going to diss whoever I won the track with? No, that that was never my intention. But my intention was to kill them, not to diss them. <laughs> to kill them on the track, undeniably go in so hard that I kill them, but not dissing them directly. But obviously, as a rap, your, your rap is it's competitive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So if you're on a song with a guy, you're like, I'm the best rapper. Yeah. That means that. Indirectly, this yeah, and country. actually, Cole was actually very direct about it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He was <laughs> I'll kill you on your song. Yeah, yeah, he was very direct about it. Yeah, I think that was very bossy of him, and and yeah, I think he he killed that track. Ish, slaughtered. I I I I don't think Drake. I think Drake should have. Okay. He should have taken it more serious. To me, I feel like he did take it serious. But I I don't want to give that as an excuse. You know what I mean? If part of being a great rapper is. Um, you know that when you're rapping with this guy, you have to step it up, right? Yeah, you have to like write the best verse you've ever written in your life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, bad. so if if that was the best that he had, then ish. <laughs> I think that um, he tried to redeem himself. Yeah. Or I think he's been exposed. That's my humble opinion. Mm-hmm. He's not at that rapping level anymore because he yeah. got caught up. If you if you follow the timeline of Drake's career, mm-hmm. after I got caught up in the exposure of him having ghostwriters, mm-hmm. he I think focused on being a better overall artist. Yeah. Yes, because he was like, ah, I can't prove to these hip hop, let them be. Yeah. And what do you see immediately after those rumors? Or oh, hotline bling, the mm-hmm. nice for once. Mm-hmm. Not to say that his rapping ability diminished, but he just expanded his yeah. horizons in that regard. Yeah, he, he splits his focus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So then, um, he wasn't practicing on wax, mm-hmm. like putting music out there. Mm-hmm. Obviously, if you're doing an album with 21 Savage, even your freestyle will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, wait, wait. What? On most of those songs, 21 actually killed Drake. Nah. Ah, no bro, There's come no on. Way. Just okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Cooks. Jimmy uh, Cooks. Uh, yeah, Jimmy uh, didn't kill Drake. No. Guys, no. let's. No, 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 bro. Did, bro. He did, no, bro. He no, did. No. Trust me. Unless or, you just say that, oh, maybe he sounded better. Not he had the better verse. He had the better verse. Even the way that he was putting things together. That's what I'm saying. Like for 21, right? It was like, I'm rapping with Drake. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm sure he put in like more focus. But me, me, okay, I'm a hip hop nerd. Hip-hop. Yeah. So for me, 21 sounds like third grade, third grade rhyming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, okay, if I put you on the spot, like, tell me one 21 savage mm. line that you remember, like, that made you screw your face. Like, damn. <laughs> there okay. is it. <laughs> oh, I mean, on the spot, I can't say. Yeah. But I'm sure if I sit down for like five minutes, I'll find it. take a plan B. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man, sorry, man. <laughs> nah, but okay, that's my point to me is that okay, no, I'm hating, I'm yeah, hating yeah, yeah, yeah. But all I was trying to say was that, yes, obviously, when he was rapping with 21, he didn't have to be on his tones, and then when he's doing a dance album, that's yeah. not hip hop, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he hasn't been in that arena for let's say two albums, not mm-hmm. he, I'm sure he was recording and yeah. practicing yeah. and doing everything, but when it came to going up against Cole, he got exposed in that. 
he's not as good of a rapper as we thought he was in comparison, in comparison. to Kendrick and Cole. Yeah, you no. sort of see, when the machine is behind you, everything you do gets expanded. Yeah, not is is he's not at the rapping ability anymore. As, However, yeah, I do feel that he tried to redeem himself on the second part of the beat. Oh, I tried to do the second shit. Yeah, then yeah. like okay, let me now be in my element and getting my Drake bag, but I don't think it was enough. But yeah, that's that, I like that song. Mm-hmm. Um, the away from home yeah obviously talking his shit yeah yeah it's reminiscent of some old dre because everybody's saying we want the old dre yeah I, I'll, I'll say um i like majority of the songs that he was rapping on okay yeah uh i've never really been a fan of like drake singing mm-hmm. so uh first of all Three songs, my three songs yes. that I liked. So you also liked three I, songs? Yeah, three songs. We yeah. didn't Obviously, discuss No, this. we did not, yeah. First person shooter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, definitely number one for uh-huh. me. Um, the next one is Daylight. Okay. Because it was also like, it sounded like um, uh, if you're reading this Drake. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I like. Is that your favorite Drake project? Yes. If Actually, you're reading this? Yeah, for me, because that's, for me, that's when Drake became like a god to me mm. like he was that was his peak yeah yeah that, that was his peak for me and that's my favorite Drake project yours um, i'm a take care kind of guy yeah take care kind of yeah, guy yeah mr introspective so i've never liked the most singing shit but yeah i i, I like slime you out as well with caesar oh okay. yeah but um what about what is that uh, rich Don't rich baby rich baby dead yeah Ah, it goes. It goes. Yeah, right? it goes. But uh, yeah, not not really my car. It's not a song I'll be playing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, but it goes, and in the right setting, I'll play it. So, um, numbers wise, or oh, is there anything else you'd like to say about the album? What do you think of the production, the sequencing, features? Um, production as usual. From Drake is not going to have poor production. Okay. So yeah, the production was on point. It was amazing. Uh, the features were. Some of them are surprising. Some of them, like Yeet, seemed like they just served to serve a certain market. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but I expected maybe like more of his frequent collaborators. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, surprised. Yeah. I was like, no only way. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Huh? Because, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I have a theory. Do you think that maybe, because he said he's taking a break after this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do you think that maybe. Because uh, his contract with Cash Money ended. Scorpion yes. was the last project. Yeah. And he's done four projects since, mm-hmm. including this one that mm-hmm. just dropped. So do you think maybe he had like some deal and he just fulfilled it? Then he's going to sit back while he re-ups and looks at the next move. I, that's, that's what it seems like. Uh, but then historically, Drake has always been one to like drop. He doesn't go for too long, you know what I mean, without dropping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But with... There's this this run that you've talked about from like uh, the, the, da, da the plane, last four albums. Yeah, the last four albums, the CLBs, the Dark Lane, the Under Twenty One. That's like specifically yeah. it's Harlots. Yes. Um. Honestly, never mind. Honestly, never the dance album. Um. Yeah. Uh, so, wait, CLB. CLB. Yeah. Oh yeah, from CLB. But CLB, yeah, CLB was received with more favorable response than this yeah because i think clb had more of like the drake rapping stuff oh okay yeah and uh, as you said there was travis Scott. yeah, yeah that's travis the Scott, the, the african collaborators so yeah, yeah yeah uh overall bro it's it's mid for me it's mid yeah uh there are very few songs <laughs> that i'll be going back to uh-huh. and also we look at drake from a different lens bro yeah i don't look at drake i don't look at drake though i look at majority of his artists like i expect a lot from drake so it's if anyone dropped this album in 2023, anyone else, these young guys, it would be like their best shit. So do, do you think that um, Drake, Drake has got high expectations because perhaps um, he was manufactured? Manufactured? When you say manufactured, what do you mean? Um, okay, you know me, I like going deep, yeah, yeah, going yeah, into yeah. the history and the why. Yeah. So uh, if I would pose a question to you, um, who discovered Drake? Who discovered Drake? Yeah, as as we all know it, mm-hmm. Lil Wayne. Yes. Yeah. And then who took him to Lil Wayne? 
that I don't know. It's J Prince. Oh, okay. <laughs> J Prince okay. J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. here we have like um, the one of the biggest mafia yeah, mob families, ties. mob ties, mm. literally. Yeah. In the game, yeah. right? They they find this guy, mm -hmm. then they take him to the most popping artist at the time. At yeah. the time, mm -hmm. yeah. With, uh, uh, yeah, Birdman is not a good businessman, but mm -hmm. he's a good businessman for himself. Because <laughs> like it or not, he had the $30 million deal at 20 years old with Universal. <laughs> yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. So, yeah, then you have that executive. Mm -hmm. Then, another question. Um, before Drake was discovered by Jeff Prince, what yes. was he doing? He was acting. Yeah. Yeah. On Degrassi. Yeah. How long was he on Degrassi? Do you know? Uh, I know it's years. Eight. Eight? Yeah. I didn't know it was that. I knew it was years. So, yeah. Yeah. This is a person who was, out, he was on TV for eight years. You eight. see what I'm saying? Yeah. But somehow that just gets erased or it doesn't come into play. So yeah. we're dealing with a child star here. This is a diva, <laughs> a Selena Gomez. Ah, that's what you mean by manufactured. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, now yeah, it gets it. in the uh -huh. game now. Uh -huh. Then another question. I think I might have asked you this off air, just mm -hmm. in our casual conversations. Mm -hmm. We're not pocket watching. It's yes. public knowledge. Yeah. Do you happen to know how much Drake's house costs? The one he built in, in, in Canada. Is it like something like 200 million or something? They said 100. They said so 100 yeah, million. North okay. of 100, 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in, the in that figure. Range. Yes. And then uh -huh. Liu Wen sold his catalog for 100 million. <laughs> so, how does your house cost the, the same amount of money as the guy who discovered you? <laughs> who owns a portion, maybe a third or a quarter of your publishing? Mm, and, mm. You see how things don't add up. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. I get you, I get you. So that's... he would do the numbers. Uh, that's what I mean by he was manufactured. Uh, yeah. Something doesn't add up somewhere. Because even uh, the things that he gets away with. Because um, even on this album, yeah. there are cringe lines. The, there was a line I heard about something about being by. Yes, Bro, yes, it was, yes. It was, it was yeah. like this. Nah, I like think this that's is. the one with. Um, with party next door if i'm not mistaken is that yes, I think it's only, yeah. Party, yeah yeah i think it's only party next door yeah members only maybe mm, yes uh, i'm not sure wait, which wait, one wait, it wait. was members only yeah don't quote me on which song he said this in but what did he say what was the line wait let me let me actually just look for he it said, because uh, i don't want to misquote it i know the line uh -huh. he said um i feel like you're one of the i feel like i'm bi because you're one of the guys girl yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm bi because you're one of the guys. <laughs> but that one is. And, do you remember it? in COB? Uh, there was an underline in COB about, about something being a, being a lesbian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, you're a lesbian too? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we've mentioned one. Yeah, Did yeah. We the mentioned one with Ko. What is it on with Ko? Oh, no, 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 sorry. Not the one. Oh, but even that one for Charlene. Carlene. Carlene doesn't, uh, nah, yeah, nah, that was okay. crazy. Not on that song, bro. Because <laughs> um, uh, from what I was taught, or what I see from this red tail, made us feel mm. stuff, right? Mm. The guy who gets girls, he do not have to brag about it. Everyone yeah, can yeah, see yeah. it's evident. Yeah. Even like the Rihanna shorts and things of ah, that. So that was cringe for me, bro. Yeah, that so even cringe. mentioning the girls' names, yeah. I know it was a flex, like he, he, he typed. What like lean in his name, and then there are all these girls with. Uh, uh, that, that was lean. The, yeah. Ah, but with, with the Rihanna shots, bro, it's, it's like that's that's some loser shit. Because how it looks is that you're so bitter, like say that this girl, you know what I mean? Nah? Yeah. Yeah, nah, that that I didn't feel. Cause it's thirty seven now. <laughs> he has a child with a woman who is not proud of. Yeah, porn star. Yeah. Ish. Um, as Pusha T famously <laughs> said. He tried to clean up for IG, but the stage is on. What top top five this song the whole time? Bro. Yeah. So uh -huh. going back to the cringe balls, mm. it was on eight a.m. Is it eight a.m.? It's eight a.m. Yeah, eight a.m. Yeah. in Charlotte. Yeah. He said something about twenty one. Wherever I go, you, you go, go for Yugoslavia. You go Slavia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Like, laughs> what? <laughs> then uh, he also said. Whatever, getting so many checks, I feel, I feel checks. Checks, so checks back, back and, and, nah, nah, nah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> then the the nah. American whip 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 and chain. And the song with scissor. Yeah, slam mm -hmm. you out. Mm -hmm. 
like an American slave. I think that's very specific, being that he's Canadian. Yeah. For him to specify American slaves, a lot of rappers have used that line before. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. They, we would be like a slave. Yeah, the yeah. specification is what got me. It's like, mm, does it mean it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, um, I'll ask you, I'd say overall. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, Drake has got a very extensive catalog. Yes, he does. Uh, where do you put this up and where do you rank it? Um, ish. To be honest, I haven't listened to Drake's last four albums thoroughly. Like okay. the way I listened to the catalog before. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, uh, being a Drake fan, mm-hmm. I'm a person who enjoys Drake's music, um, the, the run from Thank Me Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thank Me Later. The take Care, Thank Me Later. That run. That run. Yeah. Up to if you're reading this. Yeah. Yeah, when you started all those God's Plan. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. for what? That was, uh, that was that Scorpio, no? Uh, no. Yeah, it was nice for what the name? That wasn't Scorpion. No, that was um, um, views. No, 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 more life. No, no, bro, it was Scorpion. Yeah, we have. To we'll, check. Okay, we'll double check. No, yeah, Scorpion yeah. is is still recent. Scorpion was during during the Pusha T beef, which is like. Oh, that's 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 when he did. Uh, I'm upset. I'm upset. Yeah. Ah. No, I actually like that song. I'm upset. <laughs> yeah. I've checked. So, God's plan. Scorpion. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scorpion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then, no, but I haven't, I didn't even listen to Scorpion like that. Oh, for real? Whatever yeah. was before Scorpion. Yeah, that's why you, know. that's why you ended. Yeah, about, because okay. to me, mm-hmm. as I said, I reiterate, hip hop nerd, da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. You have Ghost Riders. Yeah. So, yeah. as a rapper, did you write Oil versus Ever? <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 i, I think um uh, okay i also break it down as from scorpion yeah yeah i think so i could just uh, rate it fairly mm-hmm. um it's it's not better than halos mm-hmm. it is not better than scorpion obviously it's, halos is on with 21 halos is on a 21 savage it's bad no <laughs> No. Okay, bro. This you, you I'm, I'm a 21 hater. Yeah. Let me just put it out there. Burner Boy, 21 uh-huh. Savage, mm-hmm. uh, a little bit of Drake, yeah. and the wackest rapper on the West Coast, YG. I always guy. go hard. I always go hard on those ones. Yeah, she's a nose of a YG fan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it's it's uh, to me it's only better than uh, Dark Lane demo. And um, yeah, it's only better than Darkling demo. So uh, it's 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 not at the top top of his recent stuff for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad album, mm-hmm. but with what we're getting these days, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. So it's it's already obviously higher than the dance shit because yeah, hip hop hit. Anything else we've left out? Um, maybe just the the reactions to the album, the aftermath. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. A lot of people are criticizing the album, saying yes. they don't like it. Yeah, and it's 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 uh, surprising because these are people who normally stand for Drake. They are like Drake fans. Yes. So I feel like the criticism is is genuine. That's personal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Joe Biden, uh-huh. yeah, uh, criticized the album on the pod. What did he say? Uh, well, basically he said that number one. <laughs> He went in on him. He said, "Yo, bro, you're 37. Mm-hmm. Stop hanging out with the kids, with the yaris, and then oh yeah, uh, stop having sex with these 25 year olds." Because mm-hmm. he mentioned that in the in, in one of the songs. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and um, like basically, Joe's critique was it doesn't reflect your age. Mm. Yeah, I I want to hear where you are in life. Right? Like the way four 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 reflected Jay Z and where he was at the time. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like. He's trying it's, to stick with the time. Yeah, stick with the time and appeal to the youth and yeah. Stream from, well and yeah. sell records. I understand from Joe's point of view, you know, but I mean, obviously Drake has got a different point of view as well. So For him, it's about relevance. What's your take on this conflict that almost all artists have mm-hmm. or face at some point in their career? Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the separation of their personal lives and yeah. their music. So by now, uh, whatever. 
Adonis is like five or whatever. Yeah. yeah. yeah so right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did, did he really go into what you know how the relation is with the baby mama? This is what Joe I think was. Yes, he wanted to be more introspective. With yeah, because yeah. the whole world knows what happened. Yes. With the child and everything, but you haven't addressed it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you're yeah, still. Yeah. You're proud of him now. You even used him as a prop for this album. Exactly. Okay, no, he's your son. Yeah. Maybe you used him for whatever purposes, but yeah. you know, just podcasters in Zambia saying mm. <laughs> you used him as a prop, or you made him draw. Yeah. The, the lead, uh, one of the lead singles at the video with him. To him, but, yeah. Yeah. By the way, that doesn't even look like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> But ah, then again, I, like a I think Drake has got horrible album titles. Mm, yeah. Horrible. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, man. They're they're so random. For all the dogs. <laughs> what, what says for all the <laughs> dogs on this album? Actually, actually, and for I think that's also a critique I have of the album. Like uh, when you say for all the dogs, I start expecting something. For the man, them, you know what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if the album is called "For All the Dogs," apart from Twenty One, who we know is your dog, yeah. Yari is your dog, is on the. But no, Lil Wayne, isn't that your dog? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 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 this album is not for the dogs. But anyway, going back to Joe's response. Yeah. Um. When when Drake responded to Joe, mm. I think to me it showed that Drake is out of touch, not yeah. in a bad way, in a. He's too wealthy, that didn't relate. He said it himself in the song with Jack Harlow. Yeah. That he feels he's so rich that his music is not relatable anymore. Maybe I, that's what we're experiencing. I remember Jay Z got the same critique when he dropped Magna Carta. Yeah. Yeah, but it's uh over with time, it's for me it's like one of my favorite J projects now. The with time. Magna it's, it's grown on me. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. So I love that album. Yeah, I, I don't know if maybe no, but that's different. Because um, uh, Jay Z's um, his ascension to wealth yeah. is is classy, yeah, and sophisticated, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas the Drake one is like I I don't know which other term I can use, but like nigger shit, <laughs> like sleep with the most girls as possible, yeah, buy a yeah, plane, yeah, be, build a, build the biggest build house, house. But Jay Z is like oh, I mean. For those who are into art, like shooting a video in the Louvre, mm, like, yeah, mm, where the Mona Lisa is. In France. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you can't just do that. True. Yeah, that's what I mean by sophisticated. Ah, uh, yeah, man. But yeah, so when you're saying he was like cl- clowning broke people, yeah, and clowning real hip hop heads, and saying, uh, oh, those 450 fans waiting to. Uh, to screw their face, yeah, in the blah blah blah, and he got Joe a failed rapper. Do you agree with that? Uh, no, uh, Joe, Joe, Joe Biden was part of Slaughterhouse Farm. To me, that's not failure. And at least he had a hit, yeah, the hit, yeah, an actual hit record that he probably even still gets residuals off of. So, if if Drake is going by that notion, yeah, that if Joe is a failed rapper, what is Jay Dickens? Because Joe had the mainstream hit. Mm-hmm. His song was in, in movies. In movies, yeah. 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 Step, uh, what's the name of that movie? You Got Served. You Got Served. Yeah. Even, uh, his other one was also in, in Mean Girls. For real? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's another like fan base. Yeah. 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 So, but what Jedek is song with somebody on the street? No, mm-hmm. not. But nah. that doesn't mean he's a fair drop. Yeah. As we also he had like the best verses. When they went again, Deep said, Yeah. yeah he yeah, did yeah, far wrong. Ish. Ah, <laughs> so, bro. Anyway, numbers wise, what do you think Drake's album will sell first week? Uh less than hundred K for sure. What? Yeah. Hundred less than hundred K. Drake? Yeah. No. Bro. <laughs> Five hundred K. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Doja Cat. So uh, what? Fifty five? What did Doja Cat sell? Uh no, it ended up being the projection was fifty five. Uh-huh. It ended up being seventy seven. Yeah, Doja Cat sold seventy seven. Yeah. I I but this is Drake. Bro. Nah, bro. Because um, I don't know if we're allowed to say this, but it rhymes with the word few. <laughs> <laughs> Drake is, yeah, <laughs> filling the blanks. Is that? Yeah. Ah, 
nah. Yeah, even uh, on on the the truck away from home. Yeah. There's somewhere where he even like said that um, or alluded mm. or he said that ah, I'm the one who runs Universal. He <laughs> said it in previous songs. I'm the one keeping the lights flicking. So, is it, so oh, wait, but he's mentioned a Julian Grange before. Who's Julian Grange? Julian Grange is the chairman of uh, of uh, no, is is Lucian Grange. Lucian Grange. Yeah, yes. he's the chairman. And CEO of Universal Records. Uh, yeah, I remember you mentioning a line about Lucian Grange. Something, so, something, something. Uh, fun fact, fun hip hop nerd fact. Mm-hmm. Lucian Grange, the chairman of Universal, has got a son called Elliot Grange. Okay. Elliot Grange is also in the music artist. He's also in the music business, mm-hmm. and he infamously or famously signed two artists, which artists? people might not know: Six mm-hmm. Nine and Trippie Red. <laughs> <laughs> You have to study the game, people. Mm. You have to study the game. Mm. Yeah. Nah, no, is it? He That's a fun <laughs> fact. <He ate. laughs> only, only BB can rival for that. Like with Juice Wrld and, and Kid. And, yeah, Kid Leroy. Yeah. So, um, you think the album will sell 100k? Let's I say he's, he will sell more than 500k. That's, God, that's impossible. Bro, this is great for talking XA. about. Just even look at his previous first week sales, bro. Uh-huh. Trust me. Okay. It's we'll, not, it's not rich. But 500. We'll, we'll come back next I, I don't think Taylor Swift reaches 500k, bro. No, she does. Mm. In this era now. Mm. No, I think, in fact, uh, Taylor Swift saw the meal. Is it first like, week? Um, yeah. No. Like last week. <laughs> <laughs> like last year or two years ago. Uh, nah, Taylor is on some other. Mm. Hash is on some white. Mm. Uh, yeah, She's white fan base. Yeah. There's actually a lot of good on Taylor Swift in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll get into that type of time. Yeah, so ish. Have we um over beat the horse of Drake's album? Ah it it, it it had to be it had to be done. You know, this is uh these these albums don't come, you know, so often these days. Because oh, yeah. he's an important artist in the industry. Yeah. And why we say that is because that's why I was saying he was manufactured. Which mm. artist do you know? That um, was in genres of music, was in genres of music that they don't even make. Like on the Spotify playlist, is in reggaeton, gospel. Like, what yeah. is Drake doing? In, this is what I mean. So they can maneuver in that way. Yeah. But uh, I. Hey, sure, you're, 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 you're right about Taylor Swift, bro. She saw the million a week, right? Hey, one point five <laughs> million. How? I mean, nah, okay. Last year. Right? Okay, Drake, Drake can do five hundred k. Yeah. 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 I yeah, know yeah, yeah, because, bro. I, I I think it's because I only hear about the L's. Who's L's? Drake's. Like I I only hear about people talking about ah no he saw twenty thousand you know what I mean huh? yeah that's the news that gets spread the most oh, okay. about people's failures okay. for some reason no but there are certain animals in this game mm, mm, um, mm. travis scott yeah Lil uzi vert yeah j cole drake kendrick, kendrick. lemar beyonce taylor swift yeah mm, you too such if you want to go further down the road yeah yeah, yeah. elton john yeah. such people they're still doing those crazy numbers The BET Hip Hop Awards. Ish, the BET Hip Hop Awards. Yeah, I, 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 we, we had talked about them briefly last time. We said uh, Burner Boy got seven nominations. Yes, we did. Yeah, so I, I haven't watched the, the award show yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, watched so I, know, I know you have. So yeah. um, I'd, I'd like to hear the breakdown. How was the show? Who won? You know? Okay, if you've been following the BET Awards, mm-hmm. not BET Hip Hop, just BET Awards, yeah. the production level has gone down. Because I don't know if you're aware, um, Paramount mm-hmm. bought BT. When did that happen? Mm, let's say in the past three to four years. Okay. Yeah, they bought BT, MTV. Mm-hmm. And the Paramount bought BT and Viacom. Oh, yeah. Viacom, yeah, yeah. the company. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I think maybe the budget has been slashed or something. Because uh-huh. when the caliber of artists that perform there. Yeah. Many people are nominated and win are not even oh, there. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. So, the show was opened by the baby. 
Fish. First of all, <laughs> so if you, if you look at the cultural meter and you see where the baby is yeah, right no, now, yeah, yeah. and he's the one opening the Fish. shop. Is after after that the, the scandal, <laughs> I know it's been wild for Mr. Baby. Yeah, yeah, so the baby opened the shop. There was performances by Glorilla. Okay. Um, City Girls. Okay. Uh, JD did like a, a mashup of 30 years of hits nice. like Chini, the franchise boys Ah, the man them. Yeah, yeah, Tyrese mm. um, was also part of it Nelly mm. with Grills Yeah, I, I hope people know understand how much of a catalog Jermaine Dupri has Yeah, as 30 next, years One of the wildest catalogs in the game, bro And I think he's, he's, he's engaging in a versus battle with BD mm, Next month or this month that would be if I'm not mistaken, I, I, I would watch that. So yeah, the highlight performances was mm-hmm. the Jermaine Dupri theme mm-hmm. and um, DJ Drama. They also did like twenty years of trap. Okay. So it was Ti, Jeezy. I think they couldn't get Gucci, mm-hmm. so I don't know how somehow somewhere they squeezed in fabulous. Uh, okay. <laughs> it, it, yeah, that's what I said. The production <laughs> yeah. was off because yeah. after they introduced DJ Drama, like oh, twenty years of trap, then. Um, he performed the iconic songs that made, made the Gangster Grills albums. Mm. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, he just said, you be killing him. They're like, this is not <laughs> Trap One. <laughs> Fab is from New York. These guys are from, how does he even... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, so yeah. things were off. Mm. But, yeah, Kendrick won. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sure he wasn't in attendance. Yeah, but mm. for me, the biggest thing for me, hip-hop nerd, um... Mm. The person who has been awarded with the Iron Hip Hop Award mm-hmm. is Marley Mo. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, he's okay. a legendary hip hop producer. Yeah. He's actually the one credited with uh, introducing sampling in the hip hop realm. The, which is how basically hip hop started. Just to, everything was sampled. Yeah, just to, to give you a perspective on how monumental and pivotal Marley mm-hmm. Mo is to hip hop. Mm-hmm. Kanye West's whole production catalog is full of samples. Yep. One song can even have more than one sample. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. how Kanye does it. So Marley Moore is credited as being the person who brought sampling to hip hop. He produced for El Cool J, nice. the Juice Crew, and you, other you, artists. You name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So he's legend, legend. Then uh, Timbaland and Swiss Beats also got some award. Okay. For verses, uh-huh, uh-huh. for inventing verses, but all in all, the awards were lackluster. Yeah, B B T as you mentioned, I guess in the fa- in the past few years hasn't been the same. Yeah. Uh us growing up, the B T hip hop awards, just B T awards were huge. Well huge. Yeah, bro. you like, you wait. They also would be there. Yeah, you know what I mean? It actually it was a big thing for the black community, but to see it at this level is even sad. the ciphers were sad, bro. For real. Yeah. So they they <coughs> they had two ciphers. Mm-hmm. One okay, they had several, but the main two ones, uh, yeah. it was one where they were just rapping over Timbaland beats and the other one over Swiss beats. Ah. Yeah, so the one that Timbaland did, I think, had Band B, okay, and just uh, other female rappers, Lady Landa, and blah blah mm-hmm. blah. And then Swiss beats had just people, obviously, you know, like you don't know the people, yeah, but yeah. the most notable was Simba. Oh, I, I, I like Simba. Swiss beats, yeah, yeah, I like Simba. He killed. Yeah, of course, of yeah, course. Simba's hat. And my guy. That was it. <laughs> I don't know what else <laughs> we can say. He told me something about uh of air told me something about some oh, other yeah. artists. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um so even Sampa the Great was nominated. Is it the best best, best international best, flow? Yeah, she Who lost won? the the Ghanaian guy. Oh crap. Uh, uh, Black Sheriff. Yes. I don't like Black Sheriff won. I am not a fan. And then but they also gave some special award mm-hmm. to AKA for trailblazing in the industry, yeah. something along those lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but one topic from the BET Awards that I would like us to go into yeah. um, is this category called Best Hip Hop Platform. Okay. Yeah, so here are the nominees um, mm-hmm. Carisha Please by. Um, Young Miami of the City Girls, mm-hmm. Drink Champs, mm-hmm. Hip Hop DX, Million Dollars Worth of Game, mm-hmm. Rap Caviar, The Breakfast Club, Joe Biden Podcast, and mm-hmm. Double XL. Who who did we say? We, 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 we say we say the Drink, Drink Champs, Champs or or, Joe, or JBP. Yeah, maybe Million Dollars Worth of Game. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, first of all, it's an injustice mm-hmm. that uh, Math Hoffer is not nominated. Oh, yeah, yeah, shout, big shout out. Yeah, that's, that's like a big the, podcast. It's the biggest, the biggest in huh? hip hop like, yeah, at yeah, this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Because if you want to tell the magnitude of the show, look at the guests. Mm. So when you start having, uh, you know, RFK, uh, I think it's JFK's nephew. For real? The Kennedy guy. Oh. Yeah, he's running for president. In like, this, this current election? Yes, yes, yes. This upcoming yeah, election? Yeah, uh-huh. he's, I think, Jeff K's nephew. Uh-huh. And uh, he, he's got, like, some weird voice. I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, I, I saw yeah. the memes, but I never, like, watched the... Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got a weird voice. So uh-huh. that guy, if RFK is going to Mouth Hope First podcast, Mm, that, that should show big, you yeah. all you need to know. Yeah, because there's no needs, way he needs your platform to Bro, reach to the, the the black voice. You know, there's you know? no way the Kennedys are going on some nigger podcast <laughs> in the barber shop. <laughs> you know, it doesn't. It's not on brand. Yeah. So uh, I'm here to deliver the unfortunate news <laughs> that. Um, Carisha, please warn. Bro. Jesus that's, Christ. <laughs> Lord have that, mercy. That, that's an injustice, bro. I remember saying that mm, it, it didn't even deserve to be on that list. No, to be honest. Math Hoffer should be on this spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, ish, 10 episodes. 10 episodes. In how many years? Two. Ah. Funny thing is that last year she won it as well, but they, it was a tie. Between mm. her and drink champs, it was a tie. Yeah, that's, nah, right. that's still an insult, bro. Yeah, bro come right. on, bro. So, um, that's shameless. This is what happens when you know you're sleeping with men in high school. <laughs> they'll get you over the line. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's ah, proud is, of it. This and is uh, sad, by bro. the way, mm. ish, um, City Girls also announced that they're dropping an album called uh, Raw. Um, mm-hmm. Would you happen to know what RAW stands for? It's an acronym. I have no idea. I can say the first two words, okay. but you have to fill in the third. Okay, sure. Real as woman. Woman from City Girl. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Real See, as. It's a word that starts with the letter W mm-hmm. and it's on brand with what the city girls are and what they're marketing to their fans and young girls out there. This is sometimes, w. Yeah, sometimes the word starts with the letter H. Oh, ho. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, if it was H, I was going to guess, oh, okay, okay, whore. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and woman from city girls. <laughs> So, Real asshole. Yeah, man. Damn. Real assholes. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that I And it's dropping, I think, next week. I, I hate to be this guy, bro. But? Ish, the moral decay. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate that this is what our little sisters are growing up watching, bro. It's become so normalized. And, like, it's the ice spice, the sexy red, you know what I mean? The, the sexualization of it. It's always been like this, yes, but I feel like it's blown out of it's proportion out of proportion everyone wants to be a baddie you know what i mean speaking of ice spice mm. she also just uh, made an announcement yeah that she's dropping a single tomorrow okay um would you please um guess uh-huh. who the future is with he, male or female he's male and he's nigerian male and nigerian yeah. Renabu. no with kids Mm-mm. but he won an award recently Cause Selena Gomez jumped. Oh, so, Rema. Yeah. For real. Imagine. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this eee, boardroom. Sheesh. Then now Lado has got one with Christina Aguilera. For real. Yeah, dropping as well a single. Mm. So I'm like, mm, I don't know what's going on in this boardroom, bro. bro. it's 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 crazy now because you remember how people used to talk about you know, oh, it's it's like a global village, like it's just. It's one world, bro. Like it's the internet has just brought everything together, bro. It's it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah if yeah. if you didn't live in the times where there was, if you, if you lived without internet, I think is when you understand how crazy everything is right now. True. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 
So um, what else is happening in the world? Ah, uh, yeah. So if if you've noticed, we started with uh, the international stuff first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, because there's a lot happening outside. Mm-hmm. As, um, as my colleague just said, we are living in a global e- village. Exactly. After all. Exactly. So you know, uh, <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she sat down. Um, I think recently, I'm not sure when, but some clips dropped. Mm-hmm. She's, um, she's dropping a book. Oh, so that's this is a rollout. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So basically, she said that um, her and the husband Will Smith mm-hmm. haven't been married since 2016. Mm. So they have not been together, but they've been living under the same roof. Okay. From 2016, and obviously, you know. They have uh, the internet in an uproar, you know, mm-hmm. and she continues to embarrass well, uh, all, all, of that, all of that. But uh, yeah, that's the, <laughs> it, it, it just dropped, it just caught me unaware. But by now, uh-huh. me personally, uh-huh. I think I'm, I'm over those two. Okay, me too. Yeah. I've, never, <laughs> I've never been, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's... I was once obsessed with Hollywood yeah. stuff, yeah. but Will and Jade have just never been. Invested in that one. I I, I really ah. personal opinion. I think it's a distraction from yeah. the Israeli Hamas. With the, the war going on. Uh, yeah, that's what Israel, I think. Palestine. That's my personal opinion. Mm-hmm. But going back in the bullshit ignorant world, mm-hmm. bro, if this woman was sleeping with a younger guy in your cabin, yeah, obviously the marriage is over. What more do you? <laughs> No, I mean, that's to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, ah, they, they'll, they'll play it at open marriage. Uh, what, uh, uh, that's how they're trying to play it. Yeah, because I think there are certain positions in this world that we live in mm-hmm. uh, that are more advantageous to people who are married. Yes. So my humble opinion is that Will doesn't win the Oscar without his wife. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah Which yeah. president? Okay, yeah, there are presidents who are not married, but you have to be married. Like, nigga, you can't even take care of your home how can you take care of the nation? Mm-hmm. So there are certain rooms where you have to get into as a, it's more it's more of an advantage for you to be married in certain yeah. situations. And, and with the way it seems in Hollywood, bro, it seems like these marriages or relationships are like set up. Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's why there's always like, no, oh, now they're broken up. Oh, no, it's dating. You know what I mean? Like it's mm-hmm. it's too much, bro. It doesn't even feel real. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 insane, bro. So what about this? Do you, have, have you ever heard the term humiliation ritual? Or like who uh-huh. is being hu- humiliated? Yeah. So yeah, what yeah. do you have to say, like from the perspective of a man? Mm, extreme humiliation ritual. <laughs> I think. I like think, a, as an own. As, as, a, as an own, bro. As in, it's it it seems like that type of item where she has in here on on the palm of her hand. You know what I mean? She's like just be like, hey, yo, bro, like do this, you do it. Like it, it. <sighs> but isn't that the relationship? <laughs> uh, Newsflash <laughs> for the women, <laughs> right? How can she do this? Yeah. This is what women do to men. That's yeah, what the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The woman has to be in control, from, from otherwise, it, exactly, it could be an abusive. From my personal experience, if you want to be in a relationship, especially long term. Mm-hmm. They will they will make you compromise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's either you do this or they won't say it direct. You know what I mean? But for for it to be successful, especially a marriage, I think. I just I also think that um, maybe Jada Pinkett mm-hmm. knows mm-hmm. that Will Smith is secretly gay, and that's his <laughs> deep dark secret. And then she has that over him. And then I, I've never I also thought in those lines. Actually, you never thought in no. those lines about Mm-mm. Will Smith. Um, you, I'm a researcher, so yeah. there's there's evidence. Yeah, yeah. Go watch a movie called Six Degrees of Separation, which was Will Smith's like breakout in Hollywood. For real? Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't get into that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, that's what I think. Then another thing I think is that him winning the Oscar. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What I think people didn't understand by that whole thing. Him slapping Chris Rock mm. was the performance that got him the Oscar for Best Actor. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. the movie uh, was called, is it King Richard? 
the, the one, one that is based on the, the, the scene. The William sisters. Oh, the one where he's uh, playing, playing the father. Yes. Yeah, Venus and Serena's father. Yes. So yeah. if you go back to that clip, what I think many people didn't dissect is that when Chris Rock was making the joke of mm-hmm. before Will Smith went on stage. Yeah. No, while he was walking on stage, mm-hmm. I don't know if you've heard of method acting. Uh, Heath Ledger. Yes. You get caught up in your character so oh, much. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, about MK Outro? The mind control shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. are brother and sister. For real? Method acting and MK Outro. So MK Outro is basically somebody hacks your brain mm-hmm. and you behave in ways that you can't explain. Then when you come back to your real self, you can't even remember what you did. Mm. Then method acting is you're yeah, acting for a role. Yeah. And then you get so caught up in that character that you forget your real self Eesh. and get stuck as that person. Yeah. That's what happened to Heath Ledger leading to his death in, in Dark Knight. Yeah, the same thing that this guy talked about, uh, this guy from Snowfall. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Franklin. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Franklin. What's his real name again? Uh, the guy who's dating uh, Laurie oh, Harvey. Ish. That's uh, how wild it is. <laughs> we don't know... <laughs> An actor. We know the, the, the we role know. that he played. No, the, we the know character. his girlfriend. Oh, he does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the actor, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. The one who's actually working. <laughs> yeah, I almost called him Idris something. No, but yeah, he's, no, not Damson Idris. Yeah, anyway, yeah. whatever that guy's name. Mm-hmm. By the way, he said he got his inspiration from the devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, when Will Smith was walking up on stage, Right? To yeah. confront Chris Rock. Chris Rock said, Oh, here comes Richard. So who's Richard? Oh, Richard? Wait, what? Yes. Watch it again. No. Or oh, we'll watch it after this. For real? Yeah. Here comes Richard. So meaning Will Smith was in character. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you know anything about the Williams sisters' dad, mm. they grew up in Compton. They yeah. used to train uh, train them mm-hmm. while their bullets flying and gang members are passing mm-hmm. so he had to be tough yeah yes so he's more of like the screaming and angry yeah yes yeah, yeah, yeah. so that will smith performance was him embodying richard and do you know when that that became apparent to me uh-huh. um it's when you when i saw the the actual movie that it was based on Yes. Yeah, the one from the 1900s. I remember when it's bro. It's literally <laughs> frame for. It's the same. Yeah. It was a performance, bro. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was, I was, I was stunned. I was shocked. Because sometimes you have to look at what people had to do or the characters they had to play for them to get their first Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Will Smith's first, mm-hmm. despite his extensive, extensive catalog. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's my take. Watch the video again. You clearly see him call him Richard. Chris Rock didn't seem surprised. Yeah. Jada Pickett Smith then proceeds to say Chris Rock has to out. Yeah. <laughs> you see? So Chris Rock knows that it's not offensive because the body is gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Ah, this was the we'll come back <laughs> to that later. Yeah, so I think we're going to now bring it back home. Yep. We we, we usually talk about uh, politics once in a while on this show. So recently, um, there was an announcement of uh, the national budget, the Zambian national budget. Mm-hmm. Um. I personally didn't, I'm supposed to, being uh, accounts is my field, mm-hmm. uh, but I haven't paid it much attention because I'm not really a politi- politics guy. Do you care or you don't care? I, I, I don't. I think <laughs> all of this is just a facade. I think at the end of the day, they have people that are serving and they're, they're, they're not serving uh, in the Us. interest of the best, uh, in the best interest of the Zambian people. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't care. So I didn't bother to look through the numbers. I didn't bother to like check it out. So I can't give a review. I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's healthy? Um, that is something on you. You don't care about the national budget. What's 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 going to change if I care? You know where the money of the country is going. But I have no influence over it. It's my point. Like I, it's it's yeah for for me, 
I think I'll, I'll care about it at a certain level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right now it's just not the time. I was just playing. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't care because I'm not with this whole patriot. Yeah, there's, there's a nice saying about patriotism. Like, oh, I love Zambia. Uh, the quote is, um, "For one to be a patriot, mm-hmm. they must become an enemy to the rest of mankind." Mm. Yeah. So. Mm. Oh, they come with a briefcase. I don't know if it's Copa or Go. Mm. Like, bro, this is like it's like a show. You know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> but so, yeah. But the, anyway, the national budget was um, announced. Yeah. And um, it, what people are talking about is the Constituent Development Fund. Yeah, CDL, that's, that's the only thing I heard about as it's well. It's increased. Yeah. Right. Uh, there was. Uh, I think it was Honorable Binwong mm-hmm. Pundu. Mm. Yeah, who was uh, I saw a clip, mm. yeah, of him in parliament. He was saying, uh, quite right, yes, you've increased the budget for the CDF mm-hmm. by so many millions, but you haven't finished dispersing the funds from the previous. Uh, well, the funds CDF. have been dispersed, just not where they say the No, it's, it's like because he had the numbers. Yeah, it's like maybe out of twenty-seven million, mm-hmm. they've only dispersed eight million. No. So yes, the funds have been dispersed, yeah. but not to as, the rightful. Yeah, or as 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 they say they would be. I guess it's just the case of mm. um, you need a plumber. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if if everybody could do plumbing, there would be no need for a plumber to hire a plumber. True, 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 so true. if so called third world countries mm-hmm. are economically stable and are thriving mm-hmm. politically, economically, and the people are also thriving in that country. Yeah. There's no job for the West to fix. Exactly. With IMF and World Bank. Yeah. So this circus will go on until I think most of us wake up and <laughs> stop supporting this prison that's keeping us in this submissive state yeah that's right yeah, that's right. Bro, yeah, yeah right that's that's, that's the, the the deeper side of everything but you know we want to we want to argue about politics we want to vote for colors you know red green uh, and songs and songs you know i think guys let's 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 change let's just wake up just it just takes a few of us i think what know? what what the best we can do but I don't think it will happen. It's just uh-huh. wishful thinking. Uh-huh. We should just shock them. Not that I'll ever vote, uh-huh. but those people vote. Just try and vote for the most left field candidate. <laughs> don't vote for the people they think you're expecting. Because uh-huh. they've already tricked us into thinking this is a multi... Multi-party state. Yes. Uh-huh. When it always... All the elections under have always come down to two yeah. parties. Yeah. So... Remember last time we spoke about um, the Kocha Music Awards? Yes. Yeah, we were going through the list of nominees mm-hmm. and uh, we were giving some predictions about um, who would win which category. Who would win which category, yeah. So I have uh, the list of winners. First of all, the, the, the award show uh, did happen. Mm-hmm. Um, I did not get to see the entire show, but I saw most of what was happening. Okay. There were some good performances by the dope boys chef uh and then there were some terrible performances blake um tilo and king illest i think were the ones that i saw voice projection was terrible singing was you know what i mean yeah yeah it was insane so was it like sound mic issues or that just that that that, that contributed but I, I can't blame it on that because there were people who sounded good and the people who didn't sound good. Oh, okay. Yeah, but using the same mics, you know what I mean? Mm. So it was more of like, uh, I, I, someone broke it down. It's an artist called the Coppola Pasta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said, it's number one, the way you hold the mic. True. Yeah, it was these basic things that they were not doing. Like, you can't hold the, the top of the mic and show you, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it was, <laughs> some artists maybe just don't know how to perform. Yeah, no one yeah. teaches you. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. On stage. And many people think, Performing is just you going on stage mm-hmm. and putting the mic to your mouth and ah, saying, no, 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 there has to be 
crowd control, you have yes. to have like interaction with the crowd. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's yeah, a maybe lot. some dancers were banned. Mm, mm. Or you yourself have to be able to dance. Yes. Yeah, so, so it's, it's performative. So, yeah, with me here, I have the list of uh, the winners. So I'm not going to go through all of them, uh, just the interesting ones. Is so, like um, artist of the year or male artist of the year? Yes, there was best male artist of the year. I think we went through it uh, and predicted that Yom Maps would win. Yeah. He did. That's a given. <laughs> Song of the year. Yo Maps. Try again. Okay. Album of the year. Mm-hmm. Yo Maps. Try again. We said this. Yes. Remember we spoke about best female? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think my prediction was Zavin. Zavin. Yeah. Oh. And I actually, I actually pointed for the person who won. <laughs> the way that... <laughs> industry, industry, shady. Ah, bro. Yeah, because I was watching um, uh, Mark II's show. Yeah. And then he 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 had a meeting with female artists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, both young and old. Okay. To hear about their grievances in the industry so mm-hmm. they can come up with solutions. Yeah. So she was saying that one of the biggest handicaps she's had mm-hmm. is because she's the sister. Yeah, and Maki too. Yeah, so yeah. There, there's a certain expectation. Yeah. Yeah. Not even a certain expectation. Mm. It's like people say that's why you got this. Oh no, but the one is actually talented, bro. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Do, do you know that she was part of the Empower One Hundred the first time it came? So I heard. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's actually talented. That and that wasn't based off any industry. What, 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 what? That was just off your video as far as we know as far, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway yeah yeah so we also spoke about uh best international achievement wait 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 so uh Doella beat some for the great she did okay moving on <laughs> best international yeah uh best international achievement some for the great oh yeah okay we that, that, yeah we do we knew that one as well um Best, oh no, this I, I can't remember the nominees of really? the people of this best collaboration. Do you know who? Won? No, Slap D featuring Casper New West. Oh, yeah, that one was, that one was crazy, <laughs> bro. That song was trash. The but, promo was hard, but yeah. the song was trash, bro. But I think industry politics, ah, again, it's, bro. About the, it's about the what can I say. It been a monumental thing. Yeah, but because even if you look at it numbers wise, it didn't do the numbers that a Casper feature was supposed to do. Yeah, I think it, it doesn't even. I Wait, I might be the, wrong. The fans vote for this, or is it a panel? I think, I think the fans vote for the nominations. That's the only thing I'm sure about. I don't know. If, I think yeah. they. I think they do vote for this as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if yeah. it's a panel, mm. the the industry insiders know how much Slav D paid Cas. Yeah, so yeah, 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 they are aware. Mm. You know, it's like when somebody should be like, mm, what lens did you use? Yeah. Oh, I use the... Then you just see best video. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, no, don't understand. Hey, no, it just, hey, it was the lighting. <laughs> yeah, the best, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, at the Oscars, they are such a... Movie, huh? For real, huh? Yeah, like best lighting, best, oh. yeah, best costume design. Oh. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, um, so, yeah, there was there's one artist that's all oh, there's one category that's always so obvious to me. That's uh, best artist southern province, yeah, <laughs> of course. It's the Guinness, yeah, man. uh, best artist copper belt, the one where they think that was celeb. No, Chile one, Chile one. Mm. What did Mark do win? Uh, did Mark two win anything? Yes. I'm going to. Because, you to... know, um, do you know Benas Banda? Yes, I do. Yeah, I was... Uh... I like that guy. Me too, bro. Yeah. We should do something with We him. should, bro. Yeah, it... Bro, you know, I, I, like, I like people who actually put in work, like they actually research. They just don't talk from... Yeah, and yeah. especially that he's been blackboard from mm, the industry. Mm, mm. He knows a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but he's also some famous musician's nephew. For real? Yeah, he said it. But what the, the point I'm trying to make is that he said in one of the videos that mm-hmm. um, the reason why the Zambia Music Awards stopped happening mm-hmm. is because at some point, Mark II and his cronies and mm-hmm. people who were behind him mm-hmm. came up with a list of demands. 
that the artists shouldn't be, I mean, the, the show shouldn't be hosted in Osaka every year. Mm-hmm. They should be getting, I don't know if he said 15,000. Oh, I think I heard that. Yeah, I heard, I heard so that, yeah. then he also, the other demand was that each province mm-hmm. should have an award. Oh, yeah? Best in some of them, blah, blah, blah. So now that I've seen this being enacted, yeah. and then this also aligns or coincides with the premise of his show mm-hmm. that he goes to every province to look for an artist. Mm-hmm. Then you have this. Mm-hmm. So even if he didn't win, I think he's even on the executive. Yeah, board. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. If, there's a, if there's a board, he's there. I'm yeah, sure he's, he's, there's influence. There's I've, cool. I've noticed that's mm-hmm. where he's going. Because in his show, mm-hmm. out of the blue, so after Wes even said it on the show herself mm-hmm. that the meeting was all over the place. For real? Yeah, they didn't, it wasn't constructive. The idea was, but yeah. they didn't get to the meat and potatoes of I, the I, I think for, I, I saw the pictures on Facebook where it was like a, a, just a bunch of artists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bunch, all these influential Female. artists. Females. Female only. Female only? Yes, it was only him. So uh-huh. there was, um, I wish I knew. I'm that. sure there was the Toela. Yes, Toela, Wesi, Ivanka, Bianca. No? No, Cleo. Yeah, and that's the first thing he said. He's like, oh. Bombshell, mm. Cleo, and I've forgotten who mm. didn't come, but I invited them. <laughs> um, yeah, but the pro, uh, artists of prominence. Okay, wasn't oh, that was Natasha Chansa there? Uh, no, she also didn't come. She didn't come. Okay. Yeah. So, mm. but then after that, I'm saying there's an agenda. And yeah. Agenda doesn't always mean something. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah He's trying to make the industry better. Mm. He's trying to feed the artists. Basically. The very next scene, you know, Maureen Lilanda. Yes. Yeah. All of a sudden, oh no, I'm just going to see Maureen Lilanda, mm. uh, give her flowers, literally even bought a bouquet of flowers. Uh-huh. And then being smart, uh. he he made all the women sign. Yeah. Like letters to her. Oh, for real? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, oh, this is what the girls say. So like, hey. why did the women come meet him? <laughs> yeah. Is that me too? But that's smart from yeah, the tra- yeah. strategic. Make other people do the work, but always take, take the, the credit. credit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I digress. Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's, it's good. He's trying to be on that um, executive uh, level. Yeah. I, I think he's seen a, a good businessman is always going to see uh, when something a deficiency. Opportunity. Yeah, an opportunity. So he's just going to bridge that and make a lot of money off it. Yes. Yeah, that's basically what he's doing. Smart. Yeah. Big ups to Mark too. Because next thing you see, oh, Legends concert. Yeah. Yeah. And But it's also dope because these artists don't get their credit. Yeah. And her story is actually interesting. Like she dropped out of school, started using uh, uh, started music like in the eighth grade or something. Who was that? Maureen Ilanda. Oh, for her? She was, yeah, she even started crying. She was used, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Ish. I I I, I'm I'm not much of a reality TV watcher. No, it's just for research purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I, I want to know the information. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear I, I it won an award. I, I hear it's, the reviews are much better than the rest of them. They show. Yeah, they yeah. They They've already you remember last week what I was saying that you get rewarded for dysfunction. So already started teasing. Uh, um, what do you call this? Season two of uh, Royal Kingdom. Clip. Oh, ish for real? Yeah, the one for the M- M- Messi, more, Messi Mukwizas. Yeah, they even added some like prophetess type of woman. I, I think I know that woman. Yeah, at, uh, prophetess. Is she like a, like she 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 dresses up? Yeah, at prophetess nice something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for real? She's now She's going to be on the show. And obviously, dysfunction gets the number. <laughs> Why Celeb recently dropped his Zambia Pachala album, which I gave a good review of. And uh, recently, uh, his executive producer, Icon Beats, um, wrote on Facebook, I'll, I'll, I'll read the post, said, Alola, mm, these words, Mweva Shidala, ka good news, ka joint EP Chalo Chesu is almost done. Celeb Uno, let's make a date. Um, so basically, it is that that um, Y Celeb and Chef, who's numero uno, mm-hmm. 
might have a joint EP together, might have, you know, some tracks together, and uh, it will be dropping soon. He hasn't mentioned any dates, yeah. but uh, the music is there. We know mm. it's there. Mm. Yeah, so even if it doesn't drop, at least we know that the, you know, there's a potential of a, a collab. I would like to hear it. Yeah, me too, because... Yeah. Just because of the contrasting style. Exactly, exactly. Like, um, Chef is more soft spoken. Mm, mm, like, mm, you mm. Know, yeah. I like think... Lloyd Banks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah then yeah. the other guy <laughs> is the guy. She... <laughs> <laughs> Super loud, bro. I, I think I would kill to be in a recording session with my celeb. I want to hear how he sounds like when he's recording. Yeah. Yeah, I want to hear if he actually screams. He does. He does, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah. Even the performance you showed me for Dog Boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause um, you know, with music, bro. There's uh, do, do you remember um in Kalulushi there was a guy who used to go by the name Yesap. Yeah. Yeah. When you hear his music and his voice, the way it comes out, the mm-hmm. projection, mm-hmm. you think the guy is super loud. Yeah. Bro, he literally almost used to whisper. Oh yeah. Yeah, but then they'll just like project the voice and it will come out ish music. Loud, yeah, 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 yeah. So that that would be interesting to see. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who do you think benefits more from this project? And do you think it will actually come out? Mm, I, I feel like it will come out, but maybe not anytime soon. Okay. Uh, Chef is still basically riding the wave of Brock Nolunkumba okay. and Y Celeb. Well, Y Celeb doesn't mind dropping <laughs> album after album, but mm-hmm. I think for Chef it's more calculated. Oh, okay. And so it might take longer maybe than we anticipate. Okay. Yeah. Who benefits more? Chef. Why? Uh, the oh wait, 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 no, let me not be so quick to judge. Wait, wait no, let me think about it. There's no wrong no, or right answer. No, it's for, for me I'm looking at it as the angle in the angle of uh, relevance. Yes. Yeah. Chef Chef is the older guy. Mm-hmm. Why celeb is the, the the guy now on the streets. He's got the streets on lock. Exactly. Yeah, so Chef will tap into that yeah. Yeah, yeah that fan base. But why celeb will also be viewed as oh He's just not an artist making underground or whatever. Yeah, He'll yeah. be seen as a mainstream. Yeah. Yeah, because as you said, everybody knows Sheffy is calculated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Sheffy wouldn't just work with this guy. Yeah, for no, if, for no apparent yeah, reason. Yeah. They, I think it's a <coughs> mutually beneficial. Mutually beneficial. Mm-hmm. I, I would agree. I would yeah. agree. Educated enough to speak on the Gaza Strip, ah. NASA, you know, <laughs> whatever it's called. Yeah, first of all, RIP to everyone who's lost a life on on both sides. Uh, I d- I don't know the intricacies of everything that's going on, but um, when innocent lives are being lost, I think it's just a tragedy, just in general. I don't know what's really going on. I know there's been long term, you know, turmoil in that area. Yeah, but I don't think I'm educated enough to go in detail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was just asking. <laughs> I was just asking. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, going to, I'm going to read up more so that at least I can, you know. Yeah, it's very complex. Yeah, because the, the numbers of people that are dying are insane. All I know is that whatever they're saying on the news yeah. is not the truth. So the true. opposite of what you've been told on news mm-hmm. is the truth. Yeah. That's how I take it now. Yeah. Because so many things have happened where they told you this and mm. then the truth was actually that. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 And they've done it so many times that at this point it's like, nah. Yeah. There, there's literally all the proof in the world to show that that's what they do. You know yes. I mean? So, all I'll say is what I just said, mm. whatever you have been told by the mainstream media mm-hmm. is probably the lie. And yeah. then the side which all the famous people, celebrities are supporting mm-hmm. is the wrong side. That's what always mm-hmm. happens. Yeah. When you see, I stand with... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pray yeah. for Paris, remember yeah, that. Because all I'm seeing is, hey, I stand with Israel, Israel, hey, I stand with it. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sure. We, won't, we won't get there, we won't go there. Yeah, man. Yeah, so...
I think uh, it's time for Take the L, bro. Oh, <laughs> take the L. Yeah, last episode we stopped the people, so this time we have to deliver. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who's going first? Oh, you, can, you can go first, my friend. Um, okay. So, yeah. um, in my younger days, mm-hmm. um, I was quite a naughty child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilled now. I was, I, as I mentioned before, I was wandering through life with no purpose. Mm. Yeah, you know. Um, my upbringing I'll yeah. speak about that one day yeah. but so long story short grade 10 mm-hmm. yeah I was in in a boarding school but it was also a day school okay, okay. so also the day school as in borders, borders yeah. yeah so um, my thinking at that time I think I was smart bro mm. yeah because I would be like ah if the day scholars are allowed to go home or walk out of school for lunch, mm. I can just walk out with the day scholars. <laughs> Who's going to know that? That is why yeah. sometimes I would literally just get like the ball, yeah, a soccer ball, yeah, and kick it over the fence. And then I just like I've gone to pick the oh, ball. Wow, and then, wow. Yeah, and then just come and back then, after 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, after a session. And then on top of that, we would even wear like soccer gear. Um, so like if anybody goes like I want to look for the ball, bro. Yeah. Where can you go like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I was like, ah, it was lunch time mm-hmm. on a school day, mind you. Mm-hmm. School ends at four o'clock at sixteen hours. Yeah. So we go lunch time, go by a nearby market. We started drinking bombs. <laughs> but then there was the, these are the days of Nikolai, <laughs> Gold Blade, uh, Skippers, Jesus Christ, Gilbert's G, Gilbert's, uh, yeah. yeah. Was was two chains there? Yeah, yeah, it was, was there. Yeah. Two chains. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So, um, you understand why at the end of the story. Mm-hmm. I can't really remember who was there, but Derek was mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. and my other friend Rudy was okay. there. Yeah. So Rudy was ish. If I was not Derek, he was like times I don't know why. <laughs> Derek was also another character. So anyway, we dodge, we got drink. Yeah. So now obviously walking back to school drunk, it's almost uh, class time. Yeah. Stumbling through the road, but we didn't use the main road, we're using back roads. Yeah. So I was falling around and everything. So we reach in class thinking we look, everybody can smell us first of all. Yeah. These guys yeah. Are drunk. yeah. Then, and this is grade 10, imagine. So mm. we sit in class. So I'm just like, ah, here, just act like you're serious. And we even sat in different roles. Yeah. This one sat there to make it seem like no one. Like, like nothing happened yeah 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 mm, so now it's like 40 minutes still knocking off time mm. ah rudy couldn't handle it. <laughs> rudy couldn't handle himself rudy goes to the teacher may i leave the room mm. and his eyes are red he's very staggering mm. everyone is very laughing while he's asking to go to the toilet for real yeah the teacher permits him mm. ah rudy goes for this part of the story, Rudy doesn't show up back to class. For real? Yeah. Go. I'll pick it up. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> he didn't come back even after home time. Mm. So, <laughs> so now, it's me now. Oh, I'm the second victim. Mm. Ah. I feel a trumpet coming. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to, to puke. Bro. Yeah. I can't take it. And then it's almost, just Damn. almost like the siren is about to go off. Yeah. Ah, nigga couldn't hold it. Ah. Yeah, so I... I <laughs> I thought of a bright idea. I was like, ah, it's my one. <laughs> yeah, it's strong. And uh, I think my girlfriend at the time mm. was in the same class. Mm, mm. Yeah, man. So, ish, I couldn't embarrass myself. Yeah. So, ah, uh, I, I thought of the bright idea. I just got my jersey. <laughs> Put my head in my jersey. Oh, and, no. <laughs> and let loose. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, um, I've got good friends like Francis, who's still my friend to this day. <sighs> he helped come clean me up. And yeah. Derek. So then, when they took me to the toilet to wash up, mm-hmm. ah, we find the scene. Yeah. Mr. Rudy also unleashed the trumpet, <laughs> right? But the way it was, like there were stalls, right? Like yeah. let's say one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then there's the urinal mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then there's one long passage at the beginning when you just enter yeah so from the beginning mm-hmm. all you see is like puke mm-hmm. and 
it's like he got a bucket of water to try and, try and clean yeah it. so he puked in the in the passage yeah. in the hallway of like the toilets yeah and then he tossed water like a Eesh. bucket of water to try and clean it Eesh. and he was like passed out then uh yeah derek survived yeah that day. yeah so that's my l everybody saw me in the whole class mm. even my girlfriend how mm. embarrassing so yeah that's my l for this <laughs> week i took that l and kept it moving i'm sure friends who are with me in school are laughing at this right now and remembering just shaking their head like ah shizzle ah oh, you guys are jade bro. yeah man so um i'm done now it's your turn mm-hmm. sir okay um mine isn't my l mm-hmm. but uh a friend of mine took the l because of me no, somehow, somewhere, we'll find the uh, yes, scenario I, I, where you Yeah, no, I, I took the L as, as in real, I took a real nigga L. Yeah. I performed. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So, this was uh, high school. I think this was grade 11 as well? Grade 11. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So, um, in in grade 10, right? From, from, I, was a, I was a child from grade 8 to grade 12. Yep. So yeah, in grade ten, normally you would, you would receive like a lot of like new people coming from different schools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there was this girl who joined our school in grade ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so in grade ten, term one itself, she started dating uh, a friend of mine. Yeah, uh, and same class. Same class. We're all in the same class. Did yeah. you Did you ever date a girl in your class? Yeah, the I, the same girl. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the same girl. Yeah. Uh, because we had grade, we had like grade eleven A and grade eleven B. Who we in grade eleven B? Yeah, yeah. So she came to grade ten B. Uh, the guy started dating. I was dating someone else mm-hmm. who was also close to that girl. Okay. Yeah. So after I think two terms, their relationship finished. Okay, yeah. the girl and my friend. Yeah. And by then, for me, my relationship had long been done. Okay. Yeah. So ah, you know, through the through the grapevine, I started hearing, I know this girl. Mm-hmm. This girl feels you. <laughs> You've been feeling you for some time. For some time. I was yeah. like, ah, for sure. Uh-huh. All right, cool. Single now, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, let me go up to the to the guy because after they broke up, um, he was a bit sad, but he seemed like at that time maybe like three weeks had passed. Yeah. Yeah. He seemed like he was over it. So I went and I like, yo, bro. So this is the situation. Uh, me, I feel this girl. You get that? And That's your story. Yeah, I, I want her. What's your story? Ah, no, it's cool, man. Nah, it's luck. Uh, you know, uh, so <laughs> Why good. do we always do bro, that? Bro, right? <laughs> Wait, so, so, but if you said, I still feel her, you wouldn't have made that approach? At the time, I wasn't going to date. I was maybe just going to chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he was never, I wasn't going to. Okay. I, okay. I still kept it a bit, a bit real with him. But yeah, because he gave me the go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, as a real nigga, bro, started spitting games, spitting game within maybe two, three weeks. We're dating. Yeah. Uh, and everybody knew. Everybody knew. It was a small school, bro. Like, at that time, maybe we were like, maybe 90 in the entire school. Yeah. Yeah, it was a small school. In our class, maybe we were like 15 or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, everyone knew within a couple of days, ah, bro, the one starts giving me a cold shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I was surprised. So, the day, the day I noticed that, I yeah. confronted him, like, after prep at night. Yeah. I got my guy, what's the story? Yeah. Ah, no, how could you do this to me? <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, bro, bro, wait, 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 wait. We had this conversation, and you told me you were over the chip. No, I'm not over. I was like, ah, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> me, where I've reached here, I actually like this girl, uh, and we're dating. So, yeah, the, 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 the friendship was ruined for some time, but, you know, we got over it as guys, but he, he took that L, and it's a lesson to niggas, bro. If you actually like the girl, and someone approaches you, just don't shy away. Just you know, say no. I'll, I'll feel some type of way. Yeah. Yeah. If you date her. But even uh, before mm-hmm. you give your friend the go ahead, mm-hmm. uh, just know that if the girl likes him, there's nothing you can do about there's it. There's literally well. nothing you can do about yeah, it. it. Yeah. It was just like a courtesy call. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, I feel like these days. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not even going to approach my friend and tell him, you know, I, I wouldn't even think about it. 
I think at, at, at this age that we're at, it's yeah. more delicate, like dating, dating a friend's ex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that think, time, was, yeah, just classmates. Yeah, that time we're just classmates. We're in high school, bro, you know what I mean? So it was one of those things. But at this time, I don't think it's something that I can do. Yeah, so mm-hmm. your homie took the L. He took the L and he kept it moving. And you took the L, the uh, real nigga L. Real nigga L. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we which, kept it moving. Yeah, which, which reminds me, I also tell a story mm-hmm. of, um, <coughs> when a girl got between me and my best friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. But the good part is that uh, I won the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm a hard on, she chose me. I don't know, you would have to ask her. Yeah. But me, obviously. I thought the other one was hard. Nah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. I was losing. Yeah, the race, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Apparently, Wait, did she like other... literally pick like she chose? Yes, Dang. it was like okay. The one was applying pressure, yeah. as they would call it. Yeah, applying pressure, mm. bro, pressure, mad pressure. Mm. <laughs> then me, he was in there. Me yeah, and the chick were body. Yeah, yeah. So I think everybody. People even got involved now. It's, like, it's too much. You have to choose. Mm. I, I mean, my best friend, I think we even used to sit together. For real? Yeah, man. And then she just goes like... She she came to where both of us were. Mm. And she just said, ah, you guys, it's too much of this. So I break down. Mm. You should just come and choose. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Then you guys were like, okay, 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 cool. No, yeah. no, like... Yeah. Me, I, I, I couldn't say shit yeah. because I'm uh, soft spoken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mind. Mm, you see, mm. oh, it's 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 it wasn't yeah in competition. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, so oh, but yeah. I was I was scared because I thought I was going to lose. Ah. Yeah. So, but the guy conceded. For real? Yeah, like he just. At break time, mm. everybody was waiting. For real? Yeah, man. Well, like, oh, what's going to cut? <laughs> the guy just like left. School, he even got his bag and he never came back to the school. Ever. You lie, Seriously. nah, bro. Then, <laughs> you know, when the girl came to the class, yeah, she just found me and she asked where I was. Mm. And then, I don't know, and then she just started prophesizing me. Profess, what word? Professing, Pro- professing, professing. Yeah, 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 she had professional feelings for me. Yeah, and, yeah, and I got the girl. Damn, <laughs> bro! It's Jay that he left and he never came back to the school. That's the, that's Jay. Yeah, man. I was uh, I only got gas like later on in life. Yeah, like recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> she, she saw something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. So yeah, man, that happened as well. Yeah. So I think uh, this is a good place to end the pod. <coughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot to talk about, and I think we managed to compress it. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed this yeah, so very yeah. much, sir. It's, it's, it's a release, bro. I actually, as I said last time, I actually enjoyed doing this. So. Yeah, me too, man. So we just hope you enjoyed listening to the pod. If yep. this podcast, yep. um, episode eight, yes. Um, subscribe to our pages, Please follow do. us, like, mm-hmm. share. All of that, then you can also, you know, you can reach us, their uh, email addresses, their numbers, yeah. you know, all of these, all of these platforms are available for you to uh, yeah. tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like, you know. Please. Yeah, you also tell us if you dated your friend's ex. Yes, yes, yes. If you have, if you have uh, an L, if you yeah. ever took an L and kept it moving, you can uh, let us know and then we can, we can have your, your L's, you know what I mean? We can, we can read your L's out loud. Yeah. And yeah. that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, <coughs> anything else to add, sir? Ah, no. Just, uh, just you know, the thanks for listening to everyone who's listening, and uh, thanks for the support. Yep. Yeah. That's 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 basically it. Um, I've been Mulenga Kafilo. Chando Sampa, but you can call me Shizo. Yeah. Thanks for listening. See you on episode nine. Peace.